Hello Haunters and welcome to the first of many Terror Tech video tutorials. My name is Vinny and I'm Chris. In today's episode, we will be providing a walkthrough demonstration of how to get the Terror Board configured and up and running, controlling an entire environment within your haunt. This includes setting up your board, connecting to it, and configuring it for maximum security as a Wi-Fi device, and accessing the user intuitive control interface. We will then move on to attaching everything from relay controlled elements, lighting, video, audio, in order to script, control, and update your entire room right from your Wi-Fi enabled device. So without further ado, let's get started. After unboxing your board, simply plug the power to your board and wait a few seconds for your board to boot up. When complete, if this is the first time you're using your Terra board, you'll see a new Wi-Fi hotspot named TerraTech. This is WPA2 secured, so enter the password when prompted. The default password for all new Terra boards is PropTest. Once connected to the hotspot, open any web browser and navigate to ttc.com, which stands for TerraTech Controller. This will bring you to the control interface splash page with some helpful information about the board usage, the serial number of your board, etc. On this page, you will also notice an option to change my network info. You want to do this as soon as you receive your board. So this is the next step that we will be walking through. Changing the name of your control board's Wi-Fi hotspot couldn't be easier. Click on Change My Network Info and change the variables in the two fields, My Network Name and Password. Click Update and the control board will perform a reboot for the changes to take effect. This video is not meant to serve as an IT security video, but I would be remiss not to encourage you to create an absolutely secure Wi-Fi password. The Terra board will require you to provide a password eight characters or longer. I like to make my passwords longer than that, but for today's video, I'll stick with eight characters. Also ensure that the password you choose cannot be guessed or found in a dictionary. This way, uh, any hacker that attempts to get into your Wi-Fi won't be able to do so. What I like to do when I have a secure network is create a sentence that I know I will remember and use the first letter of each word in the sentence to create my password. Also mix up your password with uppercase. For example, TerraTech makes an awesome control board. So my password would be capital T, lowercase t, m, at, at, capital C, capital B, exclamation. I replace the A characters with at symbols because frankly, this, they sort of look like A's, and my added exclamation point at the end is a special character. This is an awesome control board, right? The last thing you want is someone taking control of your haunt. Once the board reboots, it's time to get to the fun stuff, automating your environment. So to best demonstrate uh, the tutorial in, in setting up the control board, we're here at our proving grounds, Plantation Blood in Augusta, Georgia. We're going to use our control board to automate their entire front room. That includes relay control, audio and video control, some uh, electronic props. So why don't we go inside and we can start setting this up. So the requirement for this room is the following. There's an input trigger on the door in the form of a button. When the guests enter the room, they're greeted by thunder and lightning that's actually taking place uh, by using strobing LEDs in the corners with the audio. An introduction video appears behind this two-way mirror screen uh, in the form of an HDMI TV. While in the room, a coffin knocker uh, will actually uh, conduct a, a sound scare uh, right behind them. And then it concludes with the automation of the doors opening to include blowers above their heads in order to give them a cooling effect when they walk in. As Vinny said earlier, we've got a few different things that we're wiring up to this control board. We've got a coffin knocker on Relay 3, 
Uh, so as that relay is activated, you'll actually hear the coffin knocker go off. Uh, on relay number five, we have our strobe lights. On relays six, we have our doors, which are actually going to open up at the end of the uh, at the end of the sequence. On seven and eight, we have a set of blower fans that actually turn on, and it kind of gives the the customers a little fright as as they have to walk through the blowing air. For the input, we're using a simple doorbell switch on the outside, which I've actually stolen power five volts from our servo header to give an LED power. And I'll go through that a little more in detail on a later tutorial. One of the great features about the TerraTech control board is this relay test interface. It allows you to test and ensure that you have all your wiring and power requirements set up to the TerraTech board uh, properly. So you can just go to this user interface and turn on and off your relays. Um, so we're, let's go ahead and start by testing on relay six, which is what we attached our strobes to. So if we go ahead and turn them on, you'll see that the uh, strobes are firing turn them off. All right, going up to relay three where we had our knocker in the coffin. Relay three. Relay three works. Relay five is our doors. Those work. So we know uh, everything is pretty much set up properly. Relays seven and eight are uh, our fans um, going into uh, as you enter the room, turning it on, turning it on, both sound good. All right, so now we're going to build a new script in order to control our entire room environment. We're going to go to the top bar labeled scripts and click on that and this will take you to this interface right here. Um, to make a new script, you're going to press the new script button and we're going to name it something useful, like in this case, front room. That would be appropriate. When you save the script, it's going to bring up uh, your step-by-step -step timing interface. Um, this allows you to just walk the dog on from start to finish of what you want your room to look like. Um, the f you'll see your script name on top and then your inputs to trigger on. So in this case, uh, we are going to input using tr input one, which is that push button doorbell that is going to be triggering our room. So we're going to start it by um, adding relay one. Relay one is our LEDs that change from red to green and green to red so that you can know if somebody's actively in the room or not. So we're going to start that at zero and we're going to make that last the duration of the entire environment, which is one minute and 50 seconds. That's how long it's going to take for this entire script to run. So now that we have our input LED set up, we can move on to the first thing that we want to occur within the room. We've attached our strobe lights to relay number six, and this is going to be our lightning effect. So we go down to channel six and we're going to give a three second delay. So we're going to start that at the third second that our script runs and let's have those, those uh, strobes fire off for one second. Let's go ahead and save that. Now we need some thunder to go along with our lightning. So this is a good opportunity to add an audio step. You click the add audio step and you can upload a file just like, you know, finding it in, in your file system, uh, much like anything else that you do. Um, when you upload your file, you could select the audio file. Um, in our case, uh, it is a thunder sound effect, um, and we're just gonna go ahead and add that. You could preview it at this time, um, or um, you can just go ahead and add it. We're gonna add that starting at the third second, and this, uh, this track lasts to uh, about uh, 23 seconds. So we've gone ahead and just taken a stopwatch and timed uh, the audio track to figure out every time we want the lightning to strike. So we're going to go ahead and program those two in. And if we remember our, our relay number six 
is our strobe lights that are going to add uh, these other strikes of lightning. So six, I know that the second strike of lightning occurs on the ninth second, and that'll run till the 10th second. And then once again, the lightning strikes at the 19th second, and we'll have that go ahead and strike until the 20th second. Okay, once uh, our lightning and thunder sequence is complete, we'll go ahead and start the video behind the mirror. So that video is gonna start um, on the 29th second, because if we remember our audio track was about 26 seconds plus three second delay, that would be the 29th second. So uploading a video file is very much like uploading an audio file. Um, it, and you could go ahead and do that in the same manner, adding the start time of the 29th second. Um, you could also change, and I would recommend changing the, the audio to your output jack, your audio jack, unless you are going to be playing that audio through the TV speakers. In our case, we have speakers on an external sound system. That's why we're choosing audio jack. Go ahead and save that. While that's running, during the video play, we, we want to um, get everybody's attention with a coffin knocker. Uh, that coffin knocker, uh, there's a little space within the video that allows uh, that knocker to happen, and that happens on, uh, at the 48th second, but we've had that, we put that knocker on channel number three. So it was connected to relay three. We want that to happen on the 48th second, and we want that knocker to knock for about two seconds. Okay, now that the video is complete, we could go ahead and add the exit sequence. The exit sequence is going to include the doors opening, the two fans firing up, and while they're going through the doors, uh, we also want the strobes to fire off to add an effect. So uh, we're going to go ahead and add the doors, which are on uh, channel number five of our relay, um, and that's going to be at one minute and 31 seconds. And we want those doors to stay open for about 10 seconds. So we'll go ahead and add it to a minute and 41 seconds. Now we have uh, the two fans uh, above the door and they're on two separate relay steps. Uh, so we're gonna go to channel seven um, and channel eight. Um, so this is seven, it's gonna open at the same time as the door or turn on at the same time as the door. And we'll do the same thing for uh, the second fan above the door, which is gonna be relay number eight. So once again, it starts at you know 131 and ends at 141. Just to add that extra ambiance, we want our strobe lights to fire off while they're exiting. And if you remember, that was on channel six. So channel six is gonna fire off in the exact same timeline as um, as the doors opening and the fans kicking on. So once you have everything saved, throughout this entire process, um, uh, while you're getting your timing together, while you're getting um, you know, everything tested, it, it's always a good idea to preview your script while, uh, while things are running. Um, we, we've gone ahead and done that in order to make this video a little bit shorter. We've been previewing our stuff throughout the entire process in order to get our timing correct. But it still only took us about 15 minutes to get this entire audio, video, relays, lighting um, environment complete for this room. So let's go ahead and preview this script and make sure this is what everything we want to look like looks proper. So three second delay, there's our lightning, there's our thunder, lightning, there's our thunder, one more, all right, the 29 second, the video should kick on, there it is. The next thing that's going to happen is there's going to be a pause in this video to allow that knocker to occur. Any medical conditions you have should have been brought to our attention by now. No cameras, no cell phones, no lighters, no photography. Here comes the knocker. 
Now that there I you have go. your undivided attention, I'm going to tell you the story of Ruth. She promised me a congregation. Once this video is complete, then the uh, exit the sequence so occurs. Right. If you remember, the doors uh, will open. Schools. Both of the fans will kick on, and uh, the strobes will kick on. Your character to define my will, then by all means, defy me. But I'll have you know this. I am the father of all lives, and I will seek you too. The congregation once told me, you will be made to call upon your belly into the kingdom of darkness. And there's our exit sequence. All right, everything's working properly. Uh, and this script is loaded and ready to go. Thanks for joining us for today's video tutorial. Please subscribe and click the link below to go to our website and check out all of the products.